Hello and welcome. My name is Sharon and this is Trio of Witches Tarot and this is my December 2023 roundup which includes a lot of Christmas presents and this was one of them. My daughter, um, one of my daughters made the bag and my other daughter embroidered this mermaid on it because mermaids, they know me and they have this nice scale looking, it's very aqua looking fabric like this. This is just makes me so happy. It's so sweet they made that. And I keep my um, Atlantis tarot in it. Hey, it's perfect. So that was a really, really touching Christmas gift. And now we shall get to all of the December decks. Okay, so got another package. Tarot Arts. They ship so fast. I think they're in California and I'm in Utah. Yeah, they're in California. And it's one from, oh gosh. Why am I blanking? It is from Artisan Tarot. And they always, Tarot Arts, pretty much with every order, gives you a bag. So it is the Jacques Veville. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one is a little bit different. The Star and Devil for sure. From kind of standard... Marseille. <clears throat> and this is my first Artisan Tarot deck. Nice box. Linen, nice linen card sock. Slippery, like the Pagan Otherworlds, if you have that. And I also ordered from a different website, and I'll provide a link, a book about how to read the Vaville. So the book came, this is the book I was referring to, and I will provide a link where you can get it if you are interested. It is very interesting. I like this, um, they talk about a reading style, which I think is kind of spread, which I think is cool. And then they go through very different kind of write up on cards than I'm used to, which is very cool. There's no pictures, which is fine because this is actually referencing, it's referencing this deck, but it's not by Artisan Tarot. So anyway, it wasn't expensive. It took a while to get here and it was kind of like I ordered it and then it eventually showed up and there was really no communication. Oh, and this, I read up on this. So this is interesting. The, it doesn't have a lantern, but he has like this rope. And if I can find it, I'll share the link below to the blog, I think it was, where I found this. And they used to use actually ropes that were soaked in something and then they would light the end of it so that's why it's red here and that would be their lantern so that's one theory posited about what this is it's not a staff but it looks a little more flexible than that and it looks like he's holding one end of his one side of his robe there this is the devil. I love this guy. He's cool. And then the tower, the tower is different too, yeah. A lot of these people have their arms bent behind them in very awkward and uncomfortable positions. That's interesting. 
And then the star is an astronomer. Far fewer stars. And the moon. Oh, I forgot that the moon is different too. Woman with a spindle of yarn. And the sun. That looks like a full grown human rather than a baby. And then there is a poem that spans two cards. Mm, it's this one and what's the other one? And the other one is an ace. Yes, the ace of pentacles it looks like. And I'm not sure which is the beginning. Okay, so let's try pairing this with the Folklore Oracle, which I got to go with my Marseille decks, besides that I like it. It really is probably the only Oracle I have right now that I think pairs. And I like this. I think this works. I'll be doing some a more in-depth video on all of my Marseille later because I plan on doing more of a study. So here we have the the different star Okay, so that works. And that's the only pairing I have for this deck. Well, today is December 1st of 2023, and this deck arrived today. And it came with this really lovely bag, which I did not expect. Don't think the deck is gonna fit in it. I'm not sure what deck would fit in it. It's pretty skinny, but maybe it has something. And stickers. So this one gives away the tarot that I got, the retro impression. But it's a whole set of, doesn't say how many stickers, but they're stickers of the cards, at least some of them. And then these stickers as well, which I'm guessing are another deck that they have created, but I can't tell what deck that is. And then this deck, that's the back of the box. Very nice box, I like it. And then comes with a booklet in <clears throat> a different language. I do not know which Asian language this is. Second half at some point is in English. So I don't have to try to translate it. It's just keywords. So it's just a little white book, not a big deal. And I've been looking at this for a long time and then I think it was Modern Metaphysic, Metaphysic A, or maybe one of the Three Fat Readers ones where he was talking about this, but I can't remember. So that's the gilding. It is, you know, it's not sharp like sometimes they are. It's more of a matte thing, but just got some gold sparkly on it. And then those are the backs. And it's a nice playing card, kind of card stock. It's like a very light linen. But it's definitely linen, which also is nice. So, okay, so I found four. Four oracles to pair with this. And the first one is one that is new to me as well. It's the Arthur Rackham Oracle. It's a big oracle. How many cards are in this thing? 80, 80 cards. 
I think this looks nice. I don't know that I love it, but I don't dislike it. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, so let's try the thistle down. And if you've seen my videos, you know I like to kind of mix things up, animals with humans rather than kind of doubling down on animal, animal, human, human. I think this works. I don't know. What do you think? Of course, an otter. Love otters. I think I like this. That's nice. Okay, let's try something else. So let's try another animal deck, the Woodland Wardens. And I had had a copy that I trimmed and then decided I didn't like it trimmed after all. I gifted it to someone and bought it again. I think this works. Be curious to hear if you have a favorite between these two animal oracles. Not just in general, but with this. I might like this one a little bit better. The aesthetic might just be a little closer. This is an extra card. Pretty sure this is an extra card. There might be two extra cards in this deck. I forget now. Yeah, there's the other one. Happiness. Yeah, I like this a lot. Woodland Wardens. And then the last one I have is The Language of Flowers. But I think I like it. But I don't think so. Okay. It is an RWS clone for the most part. Not my favorite son, not the worst son. Okay, 
so this is the witch sister cloth here is all messed up because my cat has really decided that this is his sleeping spot right in front of this window on this and so it's covered in cat hair and it's all messed up I have to figure out some system so when I'm not using this it's, this isn't here so like all of these Llewellyn's I will not be keeping this in this big box but I do like these boxes for like a traveling altar and stuff they're really cool they're great not interesting cellophane and it has the thing to pull it somewhere did I get it I got it okay And the book. Very nice. Okay, so it's actually been a few days since I got this deck and I filmed the unboxing and I don't remember where I left off. But we're going to do some pairings. So let's start with Oracle of Echoes. Picked out some decks I thought might go. Let's see. So far, I like it. Yeah. Hmm. And I haven't really had a chance to work with this yet. It came sometime in December. And holidays and everything. Too busy to do much of anything. I really like this pairing though. I like this. I could do this for a long time, but I have many decks to pair this with. And this video is already going to be very, very long. So let's move on to the next one. And these are the messenger cards, and I'm very excited about this pairing because I think it's going to really be cool. Yes. Oh wow, it really looks nice. I like the animal messages from this deck. with the spinner of threads. Interesting. And the magician. Hmm. Very cool. I very much like this pairing. There's another pairing I'm very excited about is the Old, Way, Old Ways Magic Oracle. And the creator is coming out with a new expanded edition of this. And I'm not sure. I think she's either selling out or has sold out the existing stock on these. And she's also coming out with... Um, Oh, a Morrigan Oracle? Is it Morrigan? Yes, I think it is. Anyway, this is already awesome. This 
works very nicely. Very excited about these. Oh, that's cool. The levers and the levers. She looks bad already, doesn't she? This is another really good pairing. Okay, let's see about Woodland Wardens. Very nice. I like this a lot. don't know as far as animals, but I like it as well as the messenger cards. Just because the messenger cards feel a little bit more like an augury deck in some ways. This is very, very nice. And it's mass market. Affordable, easily accessible, nice guidebook. I like it. All right, let's try some plant energy. Well, this is also a plant and animal, but more heavily planned. I already like it. Yes, I like this. Very versatile deck. Very, very nice. I like these together. Yes, I like this. Again, mass market, affordable, easy to get. Okay, let's try the Mist of Avalon. I think this is gonna work. And this one is nice. I like the keywords around the four sides and Don Michelle um, has a video where she uses this as a spread deck, which is a brilliant idea and how I use it now. So you can, you know, put a card like that and use these as the meanings for each position. And I trimmed mine. Anyway, I think this is also a fantastic pairing. And I think this is a great deck. And again, mass market. It has great keywords around it. Okay, so this is the card deck of the She 
And you can see here, you can download a PDF manual, information on where you could order it from. I believe it's mass market. I think I got it off of Amazon. It, I wrote the keywords in on the cards and also the numbers. The guidebook is interesting. There's a lot in that about uh, their experience with the she and the development of this deck, which I don't know. I haven't really used this deck. I like this though, this pairing. Um, Cause the she I think are just not my thing necessarily. But I like this deck and I was going to create my own kind of pared down version of their guidebook. But I like this. This might inspire me to finally use this deck. This isn't one we really see on the tarot tubes. And this one is fairly new and it is by the same artist as the Shadowscapes. And while the art styles are very different, I think it's going to work. I like this also. Very nice indeed. like it. like it a lot. Card sliding around a lot on me though. Okay. Okay, well today is December 28th of 2023 and a Kickstarter arrived from France. I've already taken the label off. It is from, was shipped from the same website as the Lily White and Blue Tarot and Lily Black and there we go, got it out. And they always send one of these big bags, which are interesting, but I don't know what to do with these giant bags. I keep them. Yeah, there we go. There's the Lily White, one of my favorite decks. And they always send you a deck interview card. And it is the Liminality Oracle. And I am very excited about this, although I'm a little worried, get this off of here, that it's going to compete with the Tree Keepers Oracle. Because these feel very similar and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side for myself to see if it is going to compete. The backs feel similar-ish. Very, very pretty. And the spot foiling for all the birds and the leaves. Wow, really like that. And it's a normal Oracle size. I don't have any cards here to compare to, but it, that feels slightly wider than a tarot, but not much taller. And we have English and French on the cards, and as they always do, they have one side is French and one side is English. For the guidebook, and text and illustration by Amelia Leonards. 
not sure how you pronounce that. Spread, and then we get right into the meanings for each card. So we do not have pictures for each card, which I'm totally fine with. I guess if I use guidebooks as bibliomancy, I'd want the picture, but and the it's it's not super nice quality paper, but that's okay. Yeah, so I want to just look at this real quick because I am going to do the full side by side. I really am liking this so far though. But I'm going to do that side by side and probably some pairings of this with some tarot. Excited about it. I don't think I showed the box. So there's the back and the front. Got that spot foiling. The inside, ooh, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Anyway, it's very similar to the Tree Keepers. The keywords are different. And I th think I'm doing a side-by-side -side between those two somewhere in this video. But I like this also. I might like this pairing smidge more than the tree keepers but we will see in editing if that holds I love that the hermit has heterochromatic eyes I think the meaning of that one of the meanings of that anyway is like seeing things with a new perspective Seeing things with a different perspective. I like this. This one feels a little more like these are fairies who may live in the same land with these peoples and animals. Almost looks like she's scrying there, huh? Okay, so that's the last pairing for the witch sister. Okay, interesting. So here's the tree keepers. It also has foil accents, which are pink for the butterflies. So that that's pretty similar. And then the backs of them, you can already see the similarity between them. So this one has 40, 40 how many cards? Open the box. It's very pretty on the inside. 44 cards. And they're glossy and they're gilded. It's kind of that sharp gilding. And then it has this larger size book. And then those are the backs. And then we have this smaller book. And those are the backs there. And we can see the difference in size. So the luminality is shorter and a little wider. And let's see if I have a tarot card handy. So this is taller and a little wider. And then this one is the same height and a little wider. And I don't know, this says how many cards? 49. 49. According to the count in the book, it's 49. So this book, that's what the info looks like. We have the full color pictures and then that amount of information per card. And then in the luminality, Maybe a little smidge more information and no picture. It's 
So already I've been seeing a lot of trees in this, right? And mostly I'm just hoping this is helpful to you. That's interesting. We have this kind of wave thing here and the wave thing here. If you're making a choice, I'm going to keep them both because I like them both and I already have them both. Again, interesting with all the flowers. this side by side, not trying to order them in any way that I have similarities. There are some cards that kind of are already popping out to me as similar-ish. So I'm gonna guess for those in the US that or anywhere else where mass market decks are easily available that the, the Tree Keepers Oracle is gonna be less expensive because you're paying for this one. I'm not sure how much it costs, but then you're paying for shipping from France on top of that. So for anyone who this mass market would be affordable for and shipping from France is prohibitive. Given what I'm seeing here anyway, based on how similar these are, that the Tree Keepers is probably the way to go. Especially since there's only five more cards. I think I will go through and see how many of the keywords are similar enough. that I got in the month of December is the Hobbit Tarot. And this is an older deck. This is from 2012. And, and was not expensive at all. The backs, I do not like these backs. They are not attractive. But this deck is actually really cool. The guidebook for the small amount of text you get really does go over why, who the character is in the card. It isn't all just the Hobbit, even though it's called the Hobbit Tarot, but it does go over the characters that are in the cards and a divinatory meaning. It's really quite good. So I highly recommend this. And I believe that I want to give credit. I think this is a uh, Krista at Crochet, Crochet Witch Tarot made me do it deck. We're just going to go straight to some pairings. 
So the first one I want to try is the Soul Trees Ascension. And I don't know, maybe you're tired of seeing this deck, but it just pairs so well with so many decks. I like this already, overthinking with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Smog makes an appearance in more than one card in this deck. I think this is working. Yes, I think I like this. I do like this pairing. And I don't know about this one. I had it written down, so I'm going to go with it. It's the Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle. This is the mass market version. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I was right. I kind of like it. interested to see what I think when I edit, if I still like it. I don't know that I like all of the cards. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? So let's try the Celtic Shaman's Oracle with it. I like this. This is nice. That's the right vibe. But if I am going to use this deck, I think I really, as I said in some other section of this video, just need to get Another copy of this deck that isn't all ruined. That's quite nice. So this is the Seasons of the Witch Mabon Oracle, which I thought with its uh, theme of a lot of harvest and cooking and food seemed to go with Hobbits. Don't know. Hmm. Don't know. Didn't seem to work out as well as I thought it was going to, though. And let's try the Liminality Oracle. I like it. So this is the next one and it's the Folklore Oracle. And this one's really growing on me. I mean, I liked it when I got it. But it, just the wood blocky feel of it simplicity of it. I think this is working. <laughs> Sasquatch and this giant bear. It's kind of cool.
I don't know. What do you think? So, Tarot of a Moon Garden, this borderless edition, it's one that I pre-ordered way back when it arrived. And it comes with a spreadsheet, but it's not your usual Celtic cross. It's a Wheel of the Year. There you go. And I don't have the other edition with the borders, so I can't compare it. But I'm sure there are videos up comparing the two. comes with a really nice guidebook. And there's the Wheel of the Year spread explained. <clears throat> As you can see, you get two pages for the majors. It comes with the ritual. And then, let's find, and a full page with the ritual each for the minors as well. Some of them even longer. So that's cool. And, and you know, this is nice. I wish Llewellyn would take a cue from this and not do these big books with the giant full... I mean, we have the cards. Here. Anyway, nice guidebook. It really feels nice, too. These are the cards. They're 48 width and then taller. Let's compare them to a regular tarot. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, skinnier. And a smidge taller. And this is an older deck, so the, I don't think the artwork has changed. It's just the borders have been removed and the format's a little bit different. So, it is um, plastic cardstock with a very slight linen. And it is edged in purple gilding. really like the size. It's an interesting size. So we're going to do pairings. Okay, so let's try Roots and Wings with this. One of my favorite and most versatile oracles. Something to give your eye a little rest. like this. Unicorns in here. Butterflies. Mother and the Empress. That's nice. I think this works very nicely. That works very well. Okay, and this is one you don't see much. In fact, I've only ever seen it on um, Integrative Healing Sadhana at Integrative Healing's channel. It's where I discovered it. It's a, she made me do it. And these are junior decks of the, was it the Fantastic Beings or Fantastic Beasts? And... Oh, whatever the flora one and the fauna one are called. These are junior versions of it. So the cards are bigger. They don't have the writing on the back of the cards. And they have a keyword on the front. In the name, I'm not sure. The other ones, I think they have all the writing is on the back. I can't remember. Anyway, again, because these are so... Um, ugh, can't get a hold of it. Um, much less busy. So I have them mixed together here. I don't know if you can still get these. I had to email the creator 
and ask her. And they were very inexpensive. I think they, I don't remember, it was very inexpensive. Very reasonable. But I think she's not creating decks anymore. Don't know if her Etsy shop is still open or not. But this might give you an idea if you have a different floral deck or animal deck that is kind of like this. Because I think this is working out very nicely. Okay, the Lotus with the Temperance card, I like that. Let's try something else. Secret of the Mystic Grove is a mass market deck. And this is an example of where I think the aesthetic and the color palette goes well together, but it might just be kind of an overwhelm. But I do like it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it's too much? Maybe not. The moon and imagination like that. I like how she was looking at the seven of cups. Interesting that none of the cups have anything in them. Hmm. Okay, I think that works. Even though I thought maybe it was going to be too busy. Okay, so let's try the Earthly Souls and Spirits Moon Oracle. Has moon in the name. Kind of have to, don't we? himself and he is a little bit mad at me because where I film is where he lays because the sun shines right in through this south facing window This works. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's try this Soul Trees. This is the regular one. It's a little bit more of a pastel palette. Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Interesting. Yeah, I think this works. Okay. Okay, and the last one is connected and free. And I think you can get a French version of this. My cat has jumped up on my table. My heater is going to kick on. So I'm going to try and get through this last one kind of quickly. 
but I think it really works. I do like it. That's nice. Now that my heater is blowing, we'll call an end to my pairings for Tarot of the Moon Garden. Okay, so this is a Kickstarter that came in, and it is the Lost Forest Tarot. And I have, so this is number three, the edition three, I also have the second edition. We're going to do a side-by-side -side of them because there are some changes. The box is different for sure. This is a kind of not awesome box, but it's okay. And this one is one of those drawer type, which, yeah, I mean, those are cool, but they are also not my favorite. I really like the, you know, the clamshells, but that's neither near here nor there, really. So the back's a little different. And this is the creator's business card. Yeah, this is the back of it. I like nice business cards. I use them as bookmarks. Bottom of the box. Pretty. I know where my garbage is. So those are the backs, and they have a little bit of spot gloss on them. And they are different, if memory serves, than the other backs. And the other one also came with a fold out like this with the meanings. The suits are renamed, but not weird, not, you know, not too difficult. Sky, sky, fire, <sighs> what else? oceans and earth, so not hard to remember. And that is not dissimilar from the one in the second edition. So let's just let's just do this as a side by side. Hopefully this is in order. It is. Let's see. I edged my second edition in black. And I will probably edge the third edition as well. So hmm. So this one. It's not so much spot gloss as spot matte. And then this one is spot gloss, but the design, the essence of the design is the same. Interesting. And the cardstock is different. The second edition is kind of cardboardy. This is a lightly linen playing card cardstock, much more durable. Very nice, very pleased. Okay, right off the bat we can see that while the image hasn't changed significantly, it is different. And I like both of these. Took the butterfly away. Interesting. Love that there's a there's Kitsune and more than one card in this deck. Love those. And the titles are a little bit easier to read. Well, oops. Well, these aren't hard. This is nice that it's a little brighter. The number two.
Okay, that one's changed. I think I like the new one a little better. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay. Don't know why that was out of order, but it was. also. Love this card. I don't know about for temperance. It really feels like strength to me. But I can go with it. Okay, big change there. Like them both. So this card, you will see in a moment, was an extra card in the other one. So the world, and this looks like the wheel now. Interesting, where is it? Yes, so some cards have been totally moved around. Very interesting. I don't know if that was in the campaign and I just missed it because I just backed this deck. I didn't really need to look at it. So that's interesting. Then you can see we have the Ascended here, which now is the Ascent, which is the world. And then this is an extra card that is not in this deck. And this deck has Ruination. And the Reckoning. And I had to put this in order. It did not come in order. Kind of all mixed up. I like that this is swirly. I also like this is more smoky. I don't know if I prefer one or the other. I like them both. Does anyone out there have the first edition? I'd be curious to know how it evolved from the first to the third. If you have it, or if you know of someone else who has a video with the, maybe all three, or at least the first, Love the oceans suit in this. Feels very primordial.
jellyfish. Love jellyfish. Well, I just wondered. Mm, sorry, hit that. What these are up here? Are they? Is it something swimming up there? Or is it plants? wonder why there weren't more flying creatures in the suit of skies. I'm going to start with trees. Kind of evolve and then by the fire we have them, but I'm not sure where they aren't there from the ace on. Is this a particular constellation? I don't know constellations very well. This feels like an eight to me. And there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Interesting why this isn't the eight. choices in this deck and I really wish there was more information on the reasoning behind them. And that one's changed up some. Pentagram is bigger Interesting. The kitsune. Oh, so we have two kitsune here and we, oh, they are here. They're just moved over here now. curious. I'm going to look and see if there was anything. Let's see if there's anything about that eight and nine. Let's see, where were we? Except that it was in it's in the skies, which is interesting to me. Okay, so this is swords. Air feels like a eight of wands. No, I'm the only one who thinks that. And then this is the eight of wands, which is more of a smoldering thing. Interesting. So let's see, what does it say about the nine of skies? Doop, 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 skies, nine. Stars cut holes in the sky as they fall to earth, warning of impending disaster. Hmm, okay, fear, anxiety, nightmares. I can be on board with that. What does it say about the eight 
the fire? Where does fire? Oh, so this is all fire here. Okay. The landscape cleansed, long dormant seeds begin to take root. Fast movement, change, alignment. Let's see. So I don't see any seeds taking root in this art. I will take them at their word that that is what's happening. But I don't see anything growing there. Get the old one. Well, the old one doesn't really have anything growing in it either. Interesting. Okay, so there's enough here to kind of explain the card, at least from that the creator's perspective, and that helps. Okay, might do some. Here. Okay, so this is a Kickstarter that is strived today, which is, what is today? December 22nd. This one is going to be a part of my Marseille study in the coming year. Let's see what all I got. Be able to tell from the bag there. And I believe I ordered some extra decks. At least an extra deck with this. It's just the Metanoia, is that how you pronounce it? Kickstarter. And I got this because, well, one is beautiful. And you know, I really liked the Freiburg. But I'm not just not into skeletons and skulls and stuff. So we have a yes, no coin and a sticker and a pin. And I have the, I got the PDF guidebook and a Moonlit Fay bag. Love to be able to keep this tissue paper. Oh good, it's not taped or doesn't have a sticker or anything. So I can keep it. So this one is the Wanderlust collection deck, which I don't remember if it was like strictly an add-on or if it was some, I feel like I had to I had to email her and pay separately through PayPal to add it on rather than adding it on in the campaign directly. Okay, very nice, we have the Sabbaths. Probably should zoom in. So we have the Sabbaths. And the cardstock. It's a, a rose petal, but it's not like a super sticky one. And on the back, we have the info on each Sabbath. Those are really pretty. And then a Wheel of the Year card. And then there are the number cards, which used to be separate on her website. And I thought about getting them. And then they were offered. So very cool. So they're part of this Wanderlust deck. And then a card on numerology. Very cool. And then some moon cards. And again on the backs, we have info on each one. And I don't generally love cards with writing on the back because it's hard to blindly pick one, but I do, I do tend to just personally from my, when I read for myself, it's shuffle and then whatever is on top. So I think it's still going to work for me. And then we have colors. That's 
those are cool. And then we have zodiac signs. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use this because it has so many different things in it. But I do like it. So that's going to be a thing, figuring out how to use this. And then we have a card on the elements. And then astrology is on the back here. Astrology. And then just a kind of a title card. So that's that deck, which I really like, but I'm really going to also have to figure out how to use. She just comes right off. And a nice box that's glossy. On the inside, but that's fine. It's a matte edging, really pretty blue. Yeah, it's a very pretty blue. And these are also they're very flexible. I don't spring back entirely. That's okay. And it is the rose petal again, but not like a really heavy one. As we journey through the ever-changing worlds around us, we can always come back home to our center, exploring new spaces, new spaces, and ways of being we had not recognized before. Entering each new phase of our lives weaves together a magical journey that we nurture and pass on through space and time. So thank you card there, and those are the backs. Oh yeah. I'm really, really going to like this. I can tell that already. These are really pretty. Yeah, this might be the Marseille I've been waiting for. Oh, look at that hermit. The way the light shines there. Wow, these are beautiful. Really beautiful. Love that moon. And the sun. Oh, and there's some extra cards. Very cool. And then we have some cards with meanings on them. Just keywords. And I believe there is a printed guide as well. I just didn't get that also. So that's the Marseille. And I'll have to see what pairs with this. I would okay, so let's try some pairings with the Metanoia. I think I'm saying that correctly, hopefully. And the first one I want to try is the Thistledown. This deck is so pretty. Well, both of these decks are so pretty. Oh, I wasn't sure about this, but I think I really like it. Yeah. This makes me happy. I really like this. It's it feels so sweet. Yeah. I like that. So let's try the Star Secret Oracle. I 
think it works. It's a very interesting combination. my favorite, but I don't hate it. Interesting. Okay, so let's try Roots and Wings. Huh. I think this works as well as I would have thought it would. One of those extra cards. Yes. This is very nice. potential with uh, the Ace of Wands. Okay, very nice. Okay, and this is Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And there's the other extra card. I like this too. Yeah, like that. Let's try it with the Seashell Oracle. Interesting. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. And it's nice. It's not really. Okay, and this one might seem kind of weird, the messenger cards, but I don't know. I have a feeling. I just have a feeling. like it. I think I like it. I really do like this deck. I don't know. What do you think? I like it. And here's another one that might be Weird, but connected and free. I think 
think I like this. I think I like it. Yeah, I do like it. Higher Knowledge and the Hermit together. And they look really nice too. And Mentor and the Hermit also works. Yes, I like this pairing. And I finally got the Lilifer Tarot. And um, for a long time, I didn't think this deck was for me. Kind of the blobby bodies and stuff. And one day I was kind of having a stressful day at work. And I was looking at Instagram and I saw this. And it just clicked. I was like, oh, yes, now I get it. I get it. I totally get it. And this is a great little deck. There, I'm not going to do a whole thing, but the little guidebook has so much in it. And this is the, I don't know the other, what, what number this is. The second, this was the re recent Kickstarter. I didn't get it on Kickstarter. I, I got it after. Um, I think there's some differences. I think these numbers aren't on, in that in this corner here, aren't on the previous edition. And I don't know about the gold. I don't know. Anyway, I absolutely love this deck. I love this cardstock. And we're going to do some pairings. The first one I want to try is the Wisdom of the Sacred Bee. I don't know. I feel like it works. I was thinking it was an odd one, but when I was going through my binder, something about it just called out to me. Yeah. I like it. Okay, let's try something else. So let's try the Soul Tree's Ascension. I mean, I know I use this a ton, but it's just so versatile. And look at that. really like this. But I don't think there was any doubt. I would have been very surprised if this hadn't worked. Okay. So now let's try Connected and Free. Like I said before, I think you can get this in French. And if I remember, I'll provide a link below. I think this also works. The purple up here and the purple up here. Yeah, I 
like that. The same color is only a different shape. I can't tell you how in love I am with this Lilifer Tarot now. I'm totally converted. Yes, this is also a great pairing. Okay. Okay, so let's see how it looks with the Morning Calm. Something about the movement there. I like this too. I think I'm very much into the calming vibe right now. I started a new job and just kind of stressful time of year and just need something that brings me down a notch. Yeah, I think this really works too. with the flora and fauna friends combo deck that I have I don't know if you can get this it's by um, Levesque Levy I think is her store I don't know if she still is selling decks or not and I had to send a message to get this it's not listed in the store smile on my face. Yeah. Let me know in the comments which ones you like. all my pairings for Lilifer. And this is a deck that I received as a Christmas gift because I bought some decks for myself and never opened them and gave them to my family to give to me since they have no idea what to give to me. And I got the teal backs. I think that's the color. Aqua. And it's a very interesting deck. It's a uh, well, based on the name, even and they, it's kind of a it has a very carnival feel, boardwalk kind of feel to it. So, zoom in a little. There we go. So let's do some pairings, and it's gilded. And I don't usually do reversals, but because this one has the reversal words on the cards. I think I'm going to use this one that way. So let's try the Coastal Curiosities. And I think this is going mass market and there may or may not be some of the indie ones left. But I like this. I thought because this felt kind of like a beach boardwalk deck that having this coastal deck with it would be cool. And I like it. I 
and the mute. I think the muted kind of tones of this deck go well with it. Yeah. I like this pairing. And this deck surprised me because I didn't I didn't do a ton of research on it. I've seen flip throughs. But it I don't think I realized how much of an animal deck it actually is. It's a very well balanced animal deck, but each of the if you haven't already seen this, each of the entries does talk about the animal that's on the card. It leads with the animal. So I think that's really cool. Okay, I like that pairing. And because of the vintage vibe, I thought the Vintage Wisdom Oracle would be good. And I think it is. Yeah, I like that it brings in the human aspect to it. Because I'm pretty sure there's not a single card that has people on it. Oh, I really like this pairing. very nostalgic the whole pairing doesn't it at least I think so anyway I like that so now let's try the universal folk oracle yeah I really like this one too very much totally different vibe I really like it Very nice pairing. Okay, so this is the Seasons of the Witch, Yule and Imolk mixed together. Hmm. I like it. Not as much as the previous couple. as I thought I was going to. Okay. It was nice. So let's try the Herbal Astrology Oracle. This one I like. Yes, I like this. it for some reason a little bit well the other ones gave it sort of a carnival boardwalk feel this gives it a fortune telly feel kind of I don't know why I say that it just does to me Yeah, that's a very nice pairing. Like it. I like that pairing. And for the last pairing with this, let's try Woodland Wardens. I like that. Yeah, I 
wasn't sure about this. I was kind of like, I want to see it, but I don't know. But I, I think I like it. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, I like that. So another deck that I received as a Christmas gift, and this one I did not buy my, my, for myself, but was on my wish list. The Pulp Tarot. The cards are already out here. It comes with a little instruction book. Guidebook. And this one, this is the backs, is fun, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to, I might have to get something specifically to pair with this because I was going through all my oracles and I really couldn't figure out anything. So let's try Vintage Wisdom. I don't hate it, hate it. Don't love it. Okay, let's try Coastal Curiosities. This one's a little better, but I don't know. If any of you have this, have the Pulp Tarot, and have something that you pair with it, please let me know, because I am feeling like I'm, if I want to pair it with an Oracle, I'm gonna have to find something very specific. Let's try something else. Let's try the Folklore Oracle. <clears throat> Maybe it being simple. This is the best one so far. Interesting pairing. Interesting. I kind of like it. I don't know that I think it's the ultimate pairing. It might be the ultimate one of decks that I have. Please, if you, again, if you have any ideas do share. So I think that's all I've got for pairings with the Pulp Tarot.